the concept of personalized medicine is very exciting, but it's being overhyped today. Uh, here's the vision. The vision is that a patient who today we would say this is a 40-year-old woman with heart failure or a 60-year-old man with diabetes and treat them based on those big categories that maybe capture some basics of what their issue is, but don't get into the granular detail of who they are, what their preferences are, what their genes tell us about the best treatments. In the future, we're going to get much better at all of that. And it really depends on having an information technology backbone that allows us to collect all of the data on things like preferences and genetic profile, and then link that data to our experience with given treatments. That's a very exciting vision. Right now, that vision is being realized in a relatively small number of circumstances in medicine. We're beginning to get there in cancer, and I think cancer is showing us the possibility that the hype might actually meet the reality. Because today, in cancer, we no longer think about a patient with stage two lung cancer. We think about a patient with stage two lung cancer who has a certain genetic profile that might very well respond better to a given treatment than what would have been the traditional treatment. So I think there is tremendous potential here, but we're at the very earliest stages of personalized medicine. We have to get the information technology systems better, the genetic uh, understanding uh, of the link between genes and treatments has to get much better. We have to much better understand the link between behavioral change, patient preferences, and what the healthcare system can deliver. When we do all that, I think it will be a, a tremendous advance in healthcare, but I think we're about 10 or 15 years away before we fully realize the potential.